people really aren't worried about anything. The things, the TV shows that I see coming out right now, it's a bit brazen. And not many people are concerned. So we all know that nobody is waking up from anything. So let's not get demoralized by that. But clearly, no one is waking up ever. So don't be hoping for that. You'd be wasting your time. If you think people are going to say, what is this? This isn't good. No. They won't. Or the people that do will be suppressed and there'll be an army of bots to make it look like everybody is consenting to everything. So regardless, even if people do wake up, there will be such an army that will make it look like everyone is consenting to it. Even Lewis said it himself in That Hideous Strength. If uh, the second coming of Jesus were to be happening in your lifetime, you wouldn't even know it. Are you surprised? Yeah, the engine called the media whereby the people are deceived. So, who knows? So it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if there's, um, it just doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it does in a, in a way, but you guys get what I'm saying. They could have, uh, the worst filth imaginable that, it, that was illegal for millennia pumped out right now and still it would fly and still people would take it and still people would consent to it until it's normalized and then when the sort of the uh the masters of the world come out people won't mind when they come out with with the things they do It'll already be demor- it'll already be normalized. Why well, say it for years? All you need is time. That's all. All you need to do is wait. That's all. You don't need to fight. You don't need to, to go after people. Well, they do in, in certain ways, but all you need is time. And the useless, worthless masses will be right behind the overlords against you. This isn't really meant to be a a demoralizing thing. It's just meant to be essentially laughed at. What else can you do? You think there are some brave individuals out there that are fighting the system. Winning primaries or whatever. Think that's going to do anything? Just collecting money, just collecting campaign funds. That's all they do. So, don't count on any any uh, dark horses to go out there and start representing. Ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. Just the way it is. So, not pri- I don't even I don't even know what they're called games. Primaries. I really don't even know what they're called. Some congressional bullshit. Couldn't give a damn. Whatever it is. It doesn't even matter who wins in 2020. It doesn't even matter. I... I actually... Look. You know how I, th- you know how I feel about this. I still feel that they're going to run Clinton in October. Or September or something like that. And, uh, and pair her with uh, Harris. I still... I, my money is still on that. My money's still straight up on that. But it doesn't matter if it happens or not. They could be president right now. And vice president right now. For the last three years. How would anything be different right now? How would anything be different? Can you tell? Can you tell right now? Can you tell who won? I can't. You know what that means? doesn't matter. It's a machine beyond your comprehension. That's what it means. Well, no big deal. There's no way, there's no way Biden's going to be running in November. Impo- it's an impossibility. Are you kidding me? It's an impossibility. Impossible. Impossible. I haven't been wrong in the past, but you know, it doesn't matter to me if I'm wrong or if I'm right on when it comes to this. 
It could be a plan beyond even my prophecy. I have no idea. You know what? I couldn't give a damn. Biden? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? My money is still on um, Macho Man Randy Savage and the Vince McMahon ticket. This Vince McMahon, Macho Man Randy Savage ticket. It might be the um, Coco Beware and uh, Shaka Khan ticket. It may be in late October, Mr. Perfect and Razor Ramon. Kane, Steve Austin, Mankind, The Rock. There's four people on the ticket. My money's still on Gold Dust and Sting. Scorpion Sub Zero ticket. That's a jump. That's a good prediction. Bam Bam Bigelow, Yokozuna, big crack. There we go, man. You know who I would vote for? I would vote for Andre the Giant's hologram. You know who might be running? Tupac Shakur's hologram. X <laughs> X Pack. No, living. No, man. One, two, three, kid. I think the one, two, three kid is actually running with Crush. Hey, isn't um Chris Benoit running in October? Is it running mates of Bowflex Nar? Oh man, <laughs> doink. No, er Bowflex. Erwin R. Scheister <laughs> and the Chatterer. It's gonna be Ted DiBiase and Erwin R. Scheister. I think it's gonna be uh, Money Incorporated. Man, we have some predictions in here. DMX and Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Chatter is just chattering his teeth. That's his speech. Butter, butter beans there too. The chatter turn, turn, gets you in a headlock. puts his puts a mandible claw it, like under your tongue, down no down your throat, while he's forcing you to listen to the, to Pinhead. Jesse Ventura and the planet Venus running in October. Now that's where it's at. Kanye, is Kanye still running? Didn't he run for like three and a half days? You see how it's all crap? You know who I wish would run? Speaking of Perry Saturn, Dr. Jim, I wish uh, Perry Farrell and Dave Navarro of Jane's Addiction would run. Holly Shore and Andy Dick ticket. Lane Staley, Jerry Cantrell are running. Hey, I don't mind if, if Biden wins. I really don't. It's not gonna, I'm not going to be losing any sleep. But um, I just I just don't think it's possible they run Biden. I, I really don't. I just think they're I just think it's biding for time. Just getting people talking, getting people talking for nothing, talking for nothing. Biden, he's, he's a big dope. He's, he can't do, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't mean anything. You think he's, you think, you think Biden's stupid? You honestly think that? You think, you really think he's inept and stupid? Are you, are you, you can't be serious. Do you think, you think these people are stupid? You think these people make mistakes? You serious? Come on. Well, you see this Laura Loomers, she's gaining traction. Yeah. Yeah, so am I. So is uh, the chatterer. He's gaining traction too. Are you Are you kidding me? Campaign contributions. Just a fundraiser. That's it. Hey, God bless them all. That's what I say. God bless their valiant efforts. For real. It's fine. They're not stealing anything. They're not stealing. People are paying them. I mean, it was fun years ago. I mean, it's supposed to be fun. That Now that's a ticket I can get behind. Johnny Damon and Michael Jackson slamming their heads into each other in like 05 or 04 or 03 or whatever. That's who's going to be the winning ticket. Jason Veritek. Johnny Damon. Nomar Garcia Para. You know who else might win? Ugh. The most classic guy of all time. Who's on? Uh, Jason Giambi. Hell yeah, Big Al. Jason Giambi. Um, David Wells and Dave Dave. And um, uh, Jason Giambi, man. Hideki Matsui. Might win. Chris Angel, Dave Dave ticket. I would vote for it straight up. Mind Freak. David Copperfield running alone. No vice president. I think it might be Terry Francona and um, Bronson Arroyo. 
<laughs> yeah, Sam Neil would run, but his eyes are sewn shut. So, you know, the tickets that you're watching, it's meant for your entertainment. Just like we're, you, you think you think the stuff that we're talking about right now is different than what you experience in reality. You think I'm being satirical? I'm not. It's meant for your entertainment. You know who's running? Mucho Moss. Mucho and Oedipa ticket. Or Mike Fallopian. Jim Carrey and his ex-wife Vidal. I mean, the, the lady from Dumb and Dumber and Down Periscope. Hell yeah, man. That'd be a winning ticket. You know, I think Buckethead is running. You know who's you know who's supposed to be running? Mr. Bucket. You know Mr. Bucket, put your balls in my mouth. Mr. Buck Bucket and Maxwell's Demon are gonna be running. I think Crossfire and Hungry Hungry Hippos might be running in October. As late as as late as October, I believe. Crossfire is gonna be coming in good. <laughs> Don't wake daddy. Connect four is running. Operation is running. Thin Ice. Candyland. A late, a late comer to the ticket. Who Paul and Jeffree Star I would actually vote for. You know who would be good if they ran? The old the old rap group Onyx. Kid and Play would be a winning ticket. In Too Deep would be a ticket. You know who should run? Desolation. Desolation and Despair should run in November. Parcheesi would be an easy winner. I mean, there are so many easy, easy winners. Queen Latifah, the rap, the when she was rapping. Queen Latifah from Set It Off is running. <laughs> Omnisphere, we have VSTs running. May as well. <laughs> There's VSTs running. There's Dawes running. There's SP Diff running. There's ADAT running. Wouldn't that be so good if the Steinberg UR22 would run? He's so banging. P Gen Crack for Photoshop 8 is running. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's crashing. It's trying to call home. You have to disable it. The call home algorithm is running for president. The pirate bay servers in the cave are running. A firewall to block a program. <laughs> you know who's running? Cyber God Sig is actually going to be running too. Ghostface Killer is supposed to be running. Bushwick Bill. You know who I heard was running for president? You know who's running? When Michael Keaton as Batman said, you want to get nuts, let's get nuts. You know who's going to be running? Whatever happened to Robot Jones? You know, Nightbot might be running. 